Councillor Lai. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, I have a couple of questions for staff regarding the uh, Steels Avenue East expansion. Uh, has that been uh, included in the current 10 years uh, capital budget for this widening of Steels Avenue East? Is Michael there? Councillor, uh, uh, through the speaker, on, on this question, I'm going to defer to uh, to transportation. Barbara Gray or Ashley Curtis, who are managing the, the budget for transportation. Barbara is speaking, but Barbara, she's yeah. muted. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> I had the, uh, anyway, um, the detailed design is funded within our capital program, uh, Councilor Lai, and uh, the, uh, the implementation dollars would be uh, with the um, future year. So as we go through the implementation program and we, um, we look to stage gate it at various, as parts we would put it in as future budget submissions. So I understand the EA is being updated. Uh, what is the time frame for, for this one to happen? Uh, the EA update is, is under underway and um, the, the timing, again, I, um, I'm, I'm looking to get that information from staff. So if you have another question you wanted to ask us, I'd be happy to take that now and, and get back to you with the, with the timing. Yeah, okay. The other question I wanted to ask is that uh, are, we, are we expecting some funding from the province and from the uh, from York Week this, uh, this widening of Steels Avenue East? I believe we are, in fact, in conversations with York Region, as you know, uh, Steel is the dividing line, so it's 50% uh, is what we're looking for from, from York Region. And as and with all projects, uh, we look to other levels of government when they have programs that can help to assist and leverage our city's capital dollars. So has that been any uh, updating conversation with them or whether they are going to be uh, uh, coughing in the money or are they they're going to be part of this? Uh, would they would that be in their capital budget for this 50% uh, of the funding? I'm not I don't know if it's actually in their capital budget, but we are in regular conversations with them uh, about this project. OK, thank you. So my other question would be on. Thank you, uh, Ms. Gray. My other question would be on the uh, on the uh, winter pathway clearing. Uh, I know, uh, can staff tell me that whether any of these pathway being cleared uh, now in, in the city of Toronto or have they, some of them yes and some of they don't. Is that correct? From what uh, I understand. Uh, that's, oh, go ahead, Barb. So, so, I was, uh, so first of all, Councillor Lai, I was just gonna let you know that on steel, the, the EA is actually completed and we're in the process of doing design of the road. And then um, we are working pretty closely with Parks, Forestry and Recreation. If you're talking about the pathways and parks, um, we are working with PFNR. We've expanded that work this year to do more pathway clearing uh, on behalf of parks, some of the, the larger trail corridors and some of the critical areas in parks as well as parks is doing some of that work as well. Would this, being, uh, would this include the hydro, hydro corridors? I just wanted to make sure that yes because I do have a huge hydro corridor in my ward. So just wanted to ask whether this trail clearing will include those hydro corridors. Uh, I can yes, Barb? I Yeah, go ahead, Jean. No, I think we were gonna say the same thing. I, I yep. uh, through the chair to Councillor Lai, I, I do believe that parts of the hydro corridor are being cleared. I think there is some complications just because some of those pathways are gravel and uh, they're not possible to clear, but I know that the primary ones that are paved and clearable have been cleared through this process. Okay, thank you. Thank you, those are my questions, speaker. Thank you. 